What I want to do today is show you how to use GitHub to uh, host your code and also create a website for, uh, for your game. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that you know that we've got here is I've got my, my code folder open here, my game and my assets, and um, I have already made an account for GitHub. Um, if you have not, go ahead and do so. I would recommend using a, an email address that is not linked to the school in any way. That way, once um, you graduate or leave the school and they disable your Gmail account, you'll still have access to all your code that you upload, right? I really don't want anybody to lose any creative work. All right, so after you make an account, your screen may look a little bit different than mine. I've had one for a while, so I have lots of different programs hosted up here, but you might have none. Uh, so anyway, somewhere on your screen, you should see a plus icon and we're going to make a new repository, okay? A repository is just, each, each repository would be um, all of the code for an individual project. And so I'm gonna call mine, my platformer game. If you have actually named your game, then maybe use that instead, all right? And the convention on GitHub usually is to use all lowercase letters, and if you wanna do multiple words, just put hyphens in between. All right, uh, here's the important step. Uh, um, Leave this as public, but the important step is check off that add a readme file. Um, and th this is going to just start our project with a file already in it that we can edit. And it'll also make it so we can upload without having to know any command line stuff, all right? That would be something for another video. And so I'm going to create the repository. And so I get this window here. And you can see it's got a, you know, this is going to be the list of the files. We have one file in it. It's called a readme. Um, it's MD. It's a markdown file. And we'll look at that in a little bit. But this is the only file in there right now. So now let's upload our code. And so what I'm going to do is take, I'm in, in the folder with my code. And I'm just going to highlight everything and drag it on over. And we're going to get a long list of all the files over here. And when it's finally done, I'm going to hit Commit Changes. And then this will take a few minutes, but... All right, and so now, we're, now our um, code is uploaded here. If you, for some reason, ever lose it on, on your computer or want to download it on a different computer to work, um, you can go over the code and you can just download a zip archive of it. All right, and th there are a lot more um, complex and interesting ways to work with code hosted on Git, but you know that that's the first thing you can do. And it's kind of neat too because this is now public, and anybody who comes across your code, if they like it, you know they can download it and work on it too. So I think that's fun that we get to share it. All right, so here now we're, now what I want to do is let's actually make a little information about our game. So I'm going to go to the README file here. And if so, I'm on the README file, and I'm going to click Edit. And you might be familiar. I'll zoom in a little bit. But README files on GitHub um, take advantage of using uh, Markdown, which is uh, a syntax for formatting um, text, real simple thing. Um, some of you, if you've used uh, like Reddit or Discord, you might be familiar with it. So anyway, we can do things like headings. And so let's say the goal of our game. So this would be like a top level heading. This would be a second level heading. And I'm just going to go ahead and it's, the goal is get the hero to the flag while avoiding monsters. Clear all three levels and you win the game. I think we should probably say something about the controls in our game. And I'm using, this is like a top level heading. These are level two headings. If I wanted to break the goal down into multiple sections, you know, we could just do subheadings with like three hashtags and then subheadings again with four hashtags. All right, so the controls, and I'll say use the arrow to run and space to jump. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and okay, we'll click commit changes. And you can see now if somebody, right, we'll go to my platform game. Now if somebody gets to our repository, 
Um, not only do they have access to the code, but they have a little bit of a description about what's going on. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, let's let's get some images on here. And so I have, you know, I'm going to go play my game right now. And I am going to run it. And I'm going to go over the snipping tool. Okay, and I'm going to grab, and so I'm just going to grab a screenshot of my window here. And I'll save that. I'm working in here right now, and I think I'm going to make a new folder for this. Screenshots folder, and this will be the start.png. Call it the start screen. I'll call it the type title screen. Okay. And so we got that, and then I might go, okay, so that's saved in that folder, and let me go run a little bit. Okay, and I'll my game a little bit here and and let's say I wanted to do a um, screenshot of this um, I'll just go back to the snipping tool screenshot and then me, all right it's kind of a sloppy cropping but I'll worry about that later all right and so we'll save it And I'm going to call this one the play screen. Okay, or whatever else you want to call it. Okay, so let me kill that. And so let's upload these um, screenshots to our GitHub now. Uh, so anytime you want to add additional files to your GitHub, right, just go to the main, main level here where you can see all of your files. And I'm just going to drag this folder in. Being a little slow. Let me try that again. Okay, there we go. And I'll hit commit changes. And so I think something's wrong with the. Let's see. Just make sure. We'll try it again. Okay. All right. So now let's say we want to put those images on our site. Um, you know, let's let's do this. In here. So let's make a section for screenshot. Well, actually, first let me go in here and I'm going to open each image in a new tab so we can get the URLs. And this looks like an image URL, but you notice it's not just the image URL. Um, what we actually have to do is open the image in a new tab and open the image in a new tab. And now these are the actual URLs to the image. So I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to go back to my README file and we'll edit it. And I'll, let's, let's make a section for screenshots. And so the syntax for a screenshot is you start with an exclamation mark and you do some square brackets. And in the square brackets, you just do like the alt text for the image. This would be text that would display if the image doesn't load. And then if the image does load, just do the URL of the image in parentheses. And so I'll do another one for the playing screen. Go over here and I think I got it flip-flopped. That's the play screen. And here's the title screen. Paste that in. And back down, and we'll do commit changes. All right, and we've got images on our page. Okay, so that's nice. Um, so anybody who gets to our repository, they, the README is always what's displayed, and they can read that, and then they can download the code if they want. Um, but now let's make it look like a nice, right, a nice website. And so I'm going to go to the settings section here. And down on the side, there's going to be an area called pages. And what I'm going to do is go to the source and I'm going to select a branch as main and hit save. 
and it says your site is ready to be published and they give us a URL. Let me close out some of the junk here. And I'm gonna open up this, okay? And what you see in initially is, you know, we'll get a 404 page because it says the site's not found. Um, and that's just because this publishing your, um, your site is not instant. Um, so, but eventually we're gonna come back and, you know, we'll hit refresh on this and you're gonna see your page. Okay, so that worked pretty quickly. Sometimes it takes, you know, five minutes, sometimes it takes 30 seconds, all right, for it to work. All right, and so now we have an actual, you know, website. Um, but, and this is just the README, but we have a nice URL we can share as well if we wanted to, um, you know, let somebody see our code this way. But let's go ahead and do one step better. And, um, in, it, by the way, do the source thing, hit save, make the website, get the URL before you go to the theme chooser, all right? Make the theme a second step. All right, otherwise it gets a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna go pick a theme and they've got a bunch of different right, themes we can pick. And so I'm gonna pick one that looks good for my game. All right, I like this one. My game's kinda got font sort of like that. And so I'm gonna hit select theme. And so when I refresh this, right? And this is again, um, I, I, have picked the, I have picked the theme uh, architect, and we may have to wait a few minutes. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is just come back when, uh, when the theme updates. All right. So, um, took a couple minutes, but now we have it and we have a nice, right. So now we've got a nice looking, right. Website and it's put, it put our, you know, put my username on the side. If I want to see when somebody gets this URL, if they want to see, you know, the project on GitHub with the code, they can. Um, all right. So, so I like this. There's a couple of things I want to change though. Um, one is, you know, this is now the contents of my readme file is now down here and it's redundant because I've got my platform came on there twice. So I'm going to go back to my readme and edit that. And I'm going to get rid of that right? That top heading where it says my platform game, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Cause that was redundant. And then we'll go back to the repository and you can see, like, I don't want my repository name up there. I just want it to say like the name of my game in plain English. So I'm going to go to this file called config.yml and we can edit this and I'm going to add a section called title. And this is where you just put the name of Okay, you know, I don't have Super Mario or whatever it is. I don't have a name of my game yet. I haven't even gotten there, All right? So I will commit the changes here. And let's see, I'll refresh. And this is again, okay, the readme updated. And we might have to wait a couple minutes for the uh, changes to that config file to catch on. Um, so again, if it takes a few minutes, I'll, I'll just come back when that updates. All right, so I just took a couple minutes of refreshing, but here we are, and now I have a nice, you know, right, a nice website for my project. I've got instructions, uh, you know, I can I describe the game. I've got um, instructions for play, some screenshots to make it interesting. People can view the code, um, and you know, best of all, uh, GitHub. This is a big company owned by Microsoft. Um, they're not going anywhere, so. Um, a little bit more reliable than Google Docs or that Google Drive for keeping up with code. And, you know, it's, it's a, and so you'll, this is permanent. And also it's fun because, you know, you get to share your creative work with uh, everyone now. Everyone in the world who's into code uh, can come across your site. All right. A couple, you know, more little just things to be aware of on this, right? Is, when, you know, whenever you're on your, let me, Whenever, whenever you're on your repository, you know, I know that you're going to continue working on the project. So um, anytime you make edits to your game file, right, if you add a new feature, all you have, or if you add new artwork, right, if you just add a new feature, just drag the, uh, you know, file in and then hit commit changes. Um, I didn't actually change anything, so it might not. All right. Sites being weird, but any, anyway, I think that's because I'm just on a school network. But anyway, as you make changes to your game, all you have to do is take the files or the folders that you've updated and drag them in, and um, the, the updates will be made on GitHub, 
Uh, one last thing that's really great about this compared to Google Docs is um, when you're on your re repository here, let me get back to it, um, you know, and you make changes, sometimes things go a little weird and you mess something up and you want to get back. And so you can always, right, it, it, it doesn't just keep your most recent version. Um, I can always go back and I can click through and I can view the code from any point in the history of the project. So if I break something, I can always go back and look at old code and, you know, I can like revert to an old, um, an old commit, or I can just at least look at the code and kind of compare things and fix things up. So uh, that's a useful feature as well. All right. So I think that's right. That's it for this video. And um, ho I hope you have fun making the site and I hope you enjoy, you know, feeling good that your code no longer can get lost. All right. I will talk to you later.